Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you the multiple ways you can connect a Chromecast or Google TV to a TV with broken HDMI ports. First thing you do is look at the TV and see what ports we have. For demo purposes, we're going to say the HDMI ports are faulty and we need to find another way to connect this Chromecast to the TV. So the first port we're going to be looking at is the VGA port, which is the blue connection. It's a bit hard to see because of the way it's angled but it's the blue connection. Then we have these color connections here. These are blue, green, red, and white and red plugs. So that's called component. We're gonna use that. Then we're gonna be using composite, which is the yellow one, and the white and red ones. On this TV, these connections are a dongle, but other TVs, it might be ports on the TV. Just this one has dongles. And also there's USB ports. So we're gonna be using those four ways and then show you how to do it. So the first thing we're going to be showing is the VGA port. To connect the Chromecast to the VGA port, we're going to need an adapter. So this is the adapter that I have. It's a HDMI in and then VGA out. So this one's actually designed to be connected directly to the TV, but some adapters might need a cable. And this one needs an audio cable to be connected to the TV because VGA doesn't carry audio and a power cable. I have a power board with USB ports, so I could use that as my power source for this adapter or you could plug it directly into the TV's USB ports, depending on your TV. So now you can see everything's plugged in. We have the Chromecast plugged into the power cable. We have the VJ cable plugged in, and we've got the audio plug for the VJ cable plugged in into the audio plug on the TV and the adapter, and then the power cable plugged into my power board. So let's turn the TV on and go to the VJ input and see what it does. Alrighty, so on my TV, I've got the VJ port open, which on this TV is called the RGB port. So I open that up, and now straight away the Chromecast has shown up. So we can use it like normal. We can go to our apps and watch our movies, and it'll all work like normal through the VGA port. And just to check what signal the TV is receiving, it's receiving 1080p at 60 hertz. So for this TV, uh, that's the best this TV can handle. But if your TV is a 4K TV, uh, VGA is about a quarter of the TV's quality. But if the HDMI ports are broken, this is the second best option. So next we're going to be using the component cables. So if your TV doesn't have VGA and it has component, component is the next best option if your TV has broken HDMI ports. So to do that, we need this adapter here. So this adapter has a HDMI input, HDMI, and then, and then component output. So it's got the three video colors and the two audio colors. So let's plug this in and I'll show you it working. Okay, so now I've got everything plugged in. I've got the Chromecast plugged into the adapter, the adapter plugged into my power board, and the five plugs plugged into the TV, into the ma matching the colors. We got the red, green, blue, and the white and red. We're not using a yellow cable just yet. We're using that in the next tutorial. And now that's all plugged in, the light's on, the Chromecast is on, so let's check the TV and I'll show you how it's selected. So on my TV's input list, I've got the component input selected. So let's open that. And you can see it's receiving 1080p 60, which for this TV is the highest it can receive. But if your TV is a 4K TV, it's a quarter of what the TV can receive. But if the HDMI ports are broken, component and VGA are your next best options. So now we've got the component input open and you can see the Chromecast is working. We've got pretty clear picture and we've got all our apps and movies showing up so next option is av good composite which is the yellow white and red cables to connect the chromecast to the av input you need a hdmi to av converter so it's got hdmi input there and then the yellow white and red on the other end on this adapter it has a, a signal converter there so power or ntsc so that means the country of the TV. So I'm in Australia, so I'll keep it set to PAL. NTSC should also work most of the time as well. And if you're in America, have it set to NTSC. And also there's a power cable there too. So we get a USB power cable. I'll plug it all in and then show you how it works. I have it all plugged in. Unfortunately, this adapter doesn't have any power light, so I can't show you it actually working. But the Chromecast has a power light and it's plugged into the TV's AV cables, AV plugs, through the dongle that the TV came with. So let's have a look at the TV's input and see how this looks. 
All right, so I've got AV selected. So let's have a look at that and open it up. All right, so I've got the TV selected to AV. I'll show you the import. The import is showing the 576i at 50 hertz. That's the PAL set. I changed it into your C and then go back to the TV. It is now five, uh, 480i at 60 hertz. The signals are different depending on what looks best for your TV. Because as you can see, the picture is very disgusting looking. So now we've got our apps, we've got our movies, we've got the Chromecast showing up, but it's incredibly blurry and, it, blurry and it's got a flick up because we're using AV cables and AV cables are disgusting. So you want to avoid those as much as possible. But if your TV has broken HDMI ports and doesn't have VJ and doesn't have component, composite is the way to go because that's the only choice you have. But what about USB? I mentioned USB early in the video. Let's give USB a go. You can connect the Chromecast to the TV with the USB port. You need one of these, which is a HDMI to USB converter. Plug that into the TV and see what the TV does. There you go. I got it plugged into one of the TV's USB ports. Straight away, a message comes up on my screen saying unable to support USB device. So that doesn't work. So we went through four ways of connecting the Chromecast to the TV. Our VGA, component, composite, and USB. And USB doesn't work. If you need more help with your TV, you can contact me at simpledeviceadvice.com and watch another video on the screen now. Thanks for watching.